So my video book review is going to be on the whole Bridgerton series. Um, the first book is actually out as a series on Netflix right now. And that's how I started getting into this. Um, typically whenever I watch a show and it's the first season of something and I find that there's a book series with it. I read the entire book series to see what happens next, um, usually before even the next season comes on. And of course, it's only a couple months since the first season has been released and I've read the entire book series. So um, the Netflix series shows Daphne, the oldest Bridgerton, um, falling in love with the Duke and they get married. Throughout all of this, there is a character named Lady Whistledown who has to record all of the Tons um, good and bad information and puts it in a pamphlet and sends it out every few days. And a lot of people have been... Um, have had good stuff said about them and she's also said some very mean things about people so it's been kind of something people have had theories about who could this be and also um, they wouldn't want it getting out who it actually was because they could be in a lot of trouble for the things that she said. And at the end of the Netflix series, you see that it is Penelope Featherington who could possibly be delivering these papers. And she is basically a wallflower. This is her first season in society, and nobody would suspect it was her. So she's very intelligent, but nobody gives her a chance to find out, um, find out that she is intelligent. So, I had to read the rest of the books to see if it was, in fact, her. So, the second book actually goes off the oldest Bridgerton child, Anthony. And all of the Bridgertons are extremely wealthy and good-looking. And there's never anything bad said about them from Lady Whistledown. So, it kind of follows this family through all of the books. And Anthony falls in love with Kate, and the whole book kind of winds up being this weird thing. They have, um, they like to play croquet. Basically, it's called Paul Mall in this uh, time period, I guess, but it seems like it's croquet from the description. <laughs> and uh, they're kind of vicious when they play it, and so she fits right in with the family because she is equally as vicious about it. And they fall in love and get married. So the third book it would be is about Benedict and he is the second oldest and he is an artist and he winds up falling in love with, it's kind of like the Cinderella story thing. She is an illegitimate child and um, she was taken in by her father, but her stepmother was wicked, basically. And she went to the ball this one night and to a masquerade and nobody knew who she was. And then, um, he fell in love with her at first sight and then she disappears. Well, then she reappears as a maid in this household and the son is like really mean to her and like attacks her and Benedict saves her and then they go on they fall in love blah 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 and they um she hides a secret from him that she had met him at the masquerade however many years earlier and the only reason why he wasn't marrying her is because she wasn't the woman from the masquerade when it turns out she was. And then they get mad at each other for keeping the secret. And um, anyways, they wind up getting married, live happily ever after. Still, no one knows who Lady Whistledown is. I read two books 
still can't figure out who she is. Okay, final book. <laughs> it comes to Colin, and he is the third oldest child. And he is like 30-some by now. And still isn't married. And this whole time through all these books, Penelope Featherington has had a major crush on him. And um, she is a wallflower, so she hasn't had any offers for marriage. And he hasn't offered for anyone because he hasn't fallen in love with anyone. Well, he's known her this entire time. Danced with her and everything. But then it turns out he doesn't really know her. And so... He gives her a chance and starts talking to her, and they start hanging out, and then he realizes that he loves her, and they both have this um, writing desire in common, and they both love to write, and he doesn't know that she is, in fact, Lady Whistledown, so we find that out in this book. And he follows her to a church where she's been hiding all these papers for however many years um, to publish them. And basically her sworn enemy has come out and said that she's Lady Whistledown, but Penelope cannot stand it, so she has to write a letter about it. And she had went into retirement, and so anyways... It's a long story on why, but then she has to come out and say that her sworn enemy, this Cressida Toombly lady, is not in fact Lady Whistledown, but she doesn't say that it is herself. She just says it's not this lady because she, she says it would break her heart if it was in fact Cressida. So, anyways, Colin follows her to this church and finds out that she's Lady Whistledown, and it's, this church is in a bad part of town, so he starts arguing with her and says, how can she possibly go into this part of town? Because she's a fine lady, and it's afraid something bad's going to happen to her. She's going to get mugged or something. And she has a fit because he has never cared for her, you know, for one second before this. He's never cared to about her safety or anything like that so they fight for a while they end up falling in love blah 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 they get married well then it comes out that Cressida finds out that she is in fact um, Lady Whistledown and because of the mean things that Lady Whistledown has said about her over the years she is going to come out and tell everyone that it's Penelope Featherington and then all of society is going to hate her because of everything she said over the years well, then she just breaks down and everything, Colin breaks down, and they wind up at this ball, Daphne's ball, which is the oldest one, the one in the first book, the one in the series on Netflix. Um, they decide to come out and tell everyone that it was, in fact, Penelope and have all of the Bridgertons stand behind her because then she won't be shunned by society if that happens. So that's what they do and everything turns out happy and I found out that it was actually Penelope, which is a shock because um, if you've seen the series, if you've read any of the books, I literally thought it was Lady Danbury because she would have every reason to do it and wouldn't care what other people said, which was valid but it didn't turn out to be her so that is my review of the Bridgerton series